I was about 10 years old when I was told that I am not Mr. and Mrs. Wilson's child. Something that I knew but not understood. You now know, okay, this is not my real mommy and my real daddy, but I didn't understand what it meant. The children in our care are either abandoned, abused, neglected, or removed from their homes because their parents aren't able to look after them. It makes me very happy to know that there's a place like this in this kind of community. I mean, in the heart of, of gangsterism and drugs, violence, we have actually a place like this, a safe haven for kids. It's awesome. Beitel Ansar, Child and Youth Care Centre is a registered NPO, an emergency placement centre based in the heart of Mitchell's Plain, South Africa. We are on call and we're available if ever a child needs to be brought into our care. When I come into this place, I greet each and every child personally where my babies is concerned. Because you know what? When I hug them, there's something that I, that I transfer from me to them and that is acceptance, that's a sense of belonging, something that I never ever felt up to my adult years. We are very focused on ensuring that we meet national child and youth care standards. We are in partnership with the Red Cross Children's Hospital and all the other immediate medical needs the child might have. I like it here because they take me out and I get stuff here. I have a bed to sleep in. Before I come to work, I pray every day for a double portion of the fruits of the Spirit because each child comes with a different baggage. You have to have extra patience with that child, extra love, extra goodness, extra kindness. The best thing about this place is it's a home. It's a home for everybody. My kids have a home away from home here. The, the core of, of what I want, that what I instill in their little, little, little brain, you're going to be successful. It's very exciting to be part of the Beta Lansar family. It puts my entire life into perspective and just makes me so grateful for what I have. And you can't help but wonder if this centre didn't exist, what would happen to the child? I think that's what makes us all come to work every morning because we are that intervention and we are blessed to be able to provide another option, another, another ending to a story that could be very disastrous, sad and, and, and heartbreaking without us.